Good evening, everyone. My name is uh, Mrs. Kaoba from Frontier School. Welcome to another lesson in English, uh, English Grade 3. And today in English, we are going to be looking at antonyms. We are going to be looking at antonyms. But before we do that, let us look at a preview of the lesson that we had the, the other time. Uh, last week, we were looking at um, an alphabet. We were looking at an alphabet where we saw different symbols that are used in an alphabet. We also say an alphabet has actually 26 symbols. It has 26 symbols. Also, we also say that an alphabet has two different types of symbols. The first one are small letters. The second one are capital letters. We also looked at vowels. We looked at uh, different types of vowels that we have within the alphabet. Different vowels that we have within the alphabet. And we also looked at the consonants that are in the alphabet. Different types of consonants that are in the alphabet. So today, like I said, we are going to be looking at antonyms. We are looking at antonyms. So I'll pose a question to you. What are antonyms? Someone can tell me what antonyms are. What are antonyms? Okay, very good. I know you said antonyms are words that means the opposite of another word. Words that mean opposite of another word. Someone to please find the antonym for enemy. Enemy. What is the opposite of enemy? That boy is my enemy. Now the word enemy. What do we mean? Uh, what is the antonym of enemy? 
enemy. Okay? So I mean, very good. I know you said it, yeah? friend. So the antonym for enemy is actually friend. So these are different words with their antonyms. There are so many words. Each word actually has a word, has an opposite. Uh, the antonym for love you say is what is hurt. The antonym of happy is sad. The antonym of girl is boy. The antonym of enemy is friend. So let us look at this chart together. So let us look at this chart together. Our chart actually defines what antonyms are and we have different examples of antonyms. So we are saying an antonym is a word that means the opposite of another word. The opposite of another word is what is known as an antonym. So down here we have some examples of antonyms. Different examples of antonyms. The first one is hot. The first one is hot. So the antonym or the opposite of hot is cold. The opposite of hot is what it is cold. The second one is love. Like we said, the opposite or the antonym of love is hate. The antonym of love is hate. And then uh, the third one, we have happy. Happy. The antonym of happy or the opposite of happy is sad. The opposite of happy is sad. We have, uh, we come to the fourth one. We have enemy. Like we said, enemy. The opposite of enemy. The antonym of enemy. So if we are saying the antonym or the opposite of enemy is what? Is friend. Antonym or opposite of enemy is friend. We come to the last one. We have girl. A girl. So the opposite or the antonym for girl is what? Is boy. The antonym for a girl is what? Is boy. So to begin with, I said an antonym is a word or a word that means the opposite of what? Of given words. When you have been given certain words, the opposite of those words that you, you have been given are actually what are known as antonyms. So, like the definition here, an antonym is a word that means the opposite of another word. We also looked at different, different types of what? Different kinds of antonyms. Different words with their antonyms. Apart from this, there are a lot more, a whole lot more of words and their antonyms. So I'm going to give you an activity and I want us to do this activity together. So let us look at the activity together. Let us go through the questions together. Number one says, dash is a word that means the opposite of another word. What did we say we call the word that means opposite of another word? Number two, number two states, find the antonym of the following words. Find the antonyms of the following words. So you have been given different words and you are required to find the antonym for each word. The first word is beautiful. What is the antonym for beautiful? What is the antonym for beautiful? Number two, rich. What is the antonym of rich? What is the antonym of rich? Number three, thin. What is the antonym of thin? What is the antonym of thin? And then this one's uh, white. What is the antonym of white? What is the antonym of white? And the last one is kind. What is the antonym or the opposite of kind? What is the opposite of kind? Okay. Thank you very much for your time. My name is Mrs. Palmer from Counter School and I was presenting a lesson in English grade 3.